I want to ask you, Chief, about funding for recreational facilities. Uh, I've heard from communities like Pecos, New Mexico, who really, um, their businesses depend on hikers and fishermen and picnickers driving through their town as their, their primary customer base, particularly in the summer months. And in the last few years, we've seen a campground, a trailhead, several picnic and fishing areas in the Santa Fe National Forest all closed due to lack of operations and maintenance funds. Um, and the small businesses in the nearby communities have really been hit hard by that. Does your budget include increased resources for recreational facilities? And uh, what else can we do to make sure that these facilities stay open so that the public lands stay public? Our budget request um, asked for an additional $33 million to deal with some deferred maintenance around recreational facilities and, and also with our trails, which will will be a start on, on really what we need to address. Uh, but we, once again, we got to find a way that we can continue to um, respond to the public's needs to provide the level of service. The um, Our Floria proposal that um, something else we need to discuss about the reauthorizing that, um, it does help us out of the 14,000 rec sites that we um, have across the country. There's about um, 4,000 of those where we collect fees that um, we retain and are able to use on site. We keep 95% of that on site. So that's that's one of the tools. The other thing, we need to continue to look for ways to, to work with um, businesses, with our concessionaires, to find ways to be able to offset the costs of operating this. We've also had some success with communities, uh, especially when a facility is close to the community. The community can take it on as just part of being able to maintain that and um, and keep it safe and operating. So we're going to have to use all of those tools. But there's just no question this is an area that the public expects a higher level of service. They want to see these facilities. And I'll tell you, it's really difficult when we have to look at you know closing a facility when we can no longer afford to keep it open and safe. Yeah, I would agree. 